Okay, we, um, we now are tasting some wines that are kind of special to this area, the Barolos and different varieties and so on, but we've been joined now by the vintner himself. Would you like to introduce him, please? Yes, this is Renato Corino. Person. <laughs> Adam. Uh, we, we've been tasting for a little while, so we're having some fun here with Renato. So, um, tell us about your vineyard. Just, just a few things. Just a few. Dile qualcosa sulle tue sulle vigne. Niente. La nostra una piccola azienda con 6-7 ettari di vigna circa. 50% è Dolcetto Barbera e 50% è di Milo da Barolo. Yeah, this is a small a familiar um, cellar and the hectares are about seven. And uh, half of it is Barolo, Nebbiolo for Barolo, and half of the, of the vineyard are producing Dolcetto and uh, Barbera. Okay. Any more? Uh, any, what's your favorite? Qual è il tuo preferito? Il tuo vino o vigna preferita? No, dipende. Diciamo, il preferito è sicuramente il Rock, che è un po' il cavallo di battaglia dell'azienda. The, the, the one that he prefers is the Rock Vineyard, because it's a very good vineyard, very well exposed, and it's probably uh, the more known in, in La Morra, is one of, historically one of the, the best crew. Uh -huh. Ok. And these wines are available in our store, Rumble Seat Wine, in Dayton, Ohio. So just, just see us at uh, Rumble Seat and we'll show you. We have the labels, we'll have the labels on display at our store. Thank you very much. Grazie. Grazie. Out here. Okay, Ricardo, point out over here. Stavo illustrando la langa. La su in cima c'è Monforte. There in Monforte d'Alba, one of the villages where they produce Barolo. Dove c'è la macchina, nella vallata sotto c'è Barolo. Yeah, Barolo is down on the valley. We cannot see it because it's low down, but it's down on the valley. Okay. Qui di fronte abbiamo Serra Lunga d'Alba e Castiglione Falletto. And Serra Lunga and Castiglione, that are the two villages with the castle. Sì. Okay. Di fronte abbiamo Diano d'Alba, zona tipica per Dolcetto. And up right. there is Diano d'Alba, it's typical for the Dolcetto di Diano. Okay. E, la, e laggiù in fondo nella vallata abbiamo Alba, la capitale del Barolo. And Alba is down on the valley down there. Ah. Ok. Quindi anche quello di fronte alla pianta che non si vede è Roddy. Ah, uh -huh, Rinaldi. Roddy, Roddy un altro piccolo comune del Barolo. Barolo. Ok. Poi qui ce n'è ancora uno dietro, Verduno, comune del Barolo. Because we have about 13 villages here. Thir 13 villages. That produce Barolo. Ok. 13 villages that produce a Barolo. Yeah. Barolo, ok. Mm. Beautiful today. Yeah. Beautiful, poi very dobbiamo, clear. Dobbiamo almeno fare anche una ripresa alla Morra, siamo alla Morra. No. <laughs> is this is this limestone that's uh, I'm seeing here and up here is that all limestone? This is a, um, a stone that we call Pietra di Luzerna uh -huh. because uh, the name is coming from the village where they produce Luzerna San Giovanni. It's a small village mm -hmm. where they have uh, this kind of stone uh -huh. that is quite strong. Yes. And it's um, they I use it for this. this because uh, I see the hotels, all their stairways and so on are, yes, are produced yes, with, with this that. stone. Yes. Pietra di Luzerna. Okay. Oh yes, that's it. You are going to Bobbio. We have, yeah. and um, and um, if uh, if you have five minutes, then from Bovio it takes two minutes driving. If you go up to La Morra, there is a Belvedere, a terrace, and you have a nice view. <laughs> Very nice. We would like to thank the the family, the Relto family tonight, uh, uh, for the tour of the winery, mm -hmm. and. Uh, we're trying to uh, acquire, maybe in February, that they come to the United oh, States and do a fun. wine tasting with us right in Dayton, Ohio. So, very good. Grazie, 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 grazie,
Thank you. 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 Just a minute. There it is, Renata Karina in La Mora. Oh, he's waving. 